Hello, I'm Susie McCullough and I'm the branch librarian here at the Riverside Library. We have a book club here where we read books and discuss and talk about them. And we like to pick good books. Here's one that I just read recently and I wanted to recommend it to you. It's called The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. It was written by Kim Michelle Richardson and it was published in May. And it takes place during the Depression in the 1930s in rural Appalachia in eastern Kentucky where there were no roads, no bookmobiles, no libraries. And this was a program set up by the WPA, set up by Franklin D. Roosevelt and his wife, Eleanor Roosevelt. They wanted to give people jobs and put people to work. And one idea they had was, let's provide library services to these people who cannot get down to the libraries, if there are any. They're too far away. So they had the pack horse library service. There were pack horse women. The women would ride on a horse or a mule and they would have their packs on the backs full of books and they would ride up into the mountains and up the creeks where there were no roads but people lived way up there so far away from everybody else and they took books and they went once a week or once every two weeks and took books up to these people so that they could read or either even learn to read and the patrons were so excited about this service and they would run out and meet the book woman. She's come again to bring me some books. Another thing about this book is that the main character has blue skin and that was a real thing that happened. This whole thing really happened. It's a historical fiction. And the blue skin of some people in eastern Kentucky was caused by a genetic defect. And there were uh, just a few people that had this in this family. But it was well known that some people up there were blue. So because of the color of their skin, people uh, shied away from them and were often prejudiced against them. The main character is telling this story herself and she feels that way. She feels shunned by the other people. But she wants to find her place in the world and she goes to work as a pack horse librarian. And as she rides up into the mountains and meets these people where she who she take to whom she takes the books she makes friends with them and she's telling this book in the first person and you get a lot of the language and the dialect of how people talked up in the mountains also described are the animals the flowers the trees the plants the landscape you get a good idea of uh, how beautiful it is. Now there's another thing about coal mining is going on. There are some good things about coal mining, but there are some bad things about coal mining in this time, and it's all presented in this book. Plus, she has a love interest. It's a very interesting book for a lot of different reasons, and I highly recommend that you read this book, The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. This came out in May. And then in October, this book came out by a very well-known author, Jojo Moyes, called The Giver of Stars, which is the name of a poem by Emily Lowell, and a poem features prominently in this book. This book takes place in the very same place at the very same time. And when this book, The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek, came out first, then this author heard about this book, which came out just a couple of months ago, and she thought, hmm, there are some similarities.
And so there is a controversy. If you look it up, you can find it. There is a controversy about did she get some ideas. But ideas are ideas. Plenty of times things are written about the same thing. This is a, written entirely differently. This is a longer story. To me, this is about five women who ride the horses and mules and their uh, sisterhood and the things that go on in the small town. There's a whole lot that goes on. Romance, murder, you name it. And it's a very good plot. But to me, I got a little bit more of the feeling like I was there and the book Woman of Troublesome Creek. They are both good books, and I recommend both of them. And Moyers, while she was writing it, she already had a movie deal. And you know there's already been a movie called Me Before You. And she's already, there's already going to, going to be a movie about this book. So I always like to read a book before it becomes a movie. But I think it's interesting to compare the two since they were both about the same time period and similar circumstances. Now, Moyers had read this book called Down Cut Shin Creek. That's Cut Shin Creek because somebody cut their shin one time when they were in that creek. This is a non-fiction, true story with lots of pictures and a good overall explanation of the times. There is a children's book called That Book Woman. This is a picture story book that illustrates the times and the little boy and how he doesn't want to read at first. And then the lady makes friends with him and she brings him a special book and he begins to love reading. This is all about the power of reading. And Eight years ago, there was already another book written by Lynn Austin called Wonderland Creek. The thing about Lynn Austin is she holds the record for having won eight Christie Awards, which is the best book in the inspirational field. Name for that book called Christie by Catherine Marshall from years ago about a girl up in the Appalachian Mountains. Once again, we have a girl in the Appalachian Mountains, and she is also a pack horse librarian. Now, this is a good book, too. And if it were me, I would start with the book Woman of Troublesome Creek and the Jojo Moyes book, which is certainly going to be popular because she is a big name author. We have lots of good books for you to read and you just come see us at the Riverside Library and we'll find a book for you.